Hey guys, this is Jeremy Moskowitz and today is uh, November 24th, 2008 and I wanted to uh, show you guys something that came up in the Atlanta class. I thought it was really interesting so I wanted to share it with everybody. Uh, one of the things that some people have seen me do before is to do a very simple demonstration of deploying a desktop background to a bunch of users but I want to do that same thing but with a little bit of a twist. First, I want to show you how I would normally do it, and then what I'm going to do is turn it on its side and show you the absolutely cool new way. So the first thing I'm going to do is, like I said, I want to deploy a specific background to a bunch of users. So I already have the, the pregame set up for this, is that I already have a uh, share on this server called share. I'll just show it to you here. So here it is, share, and I've got this thing called background.jpg. I'm going to do a very quick and simple demonstration here of just, um, so for all of my nurses or something, I will create a new group policy called um, same desktop background. Now what I'll do is I'm going to use this uh, uh, structure called active desktop and I'm going to deploy this guy. So under policies, uh, administrative tools, under desktop, and here under desktop again, I'm going to enable active desktop, which will allow me to throw down JPEG wallpaper. And I'm also going to do this thing called desktop wallpaper and actually push that wallpaper down. There we go. So we're going to push that wallpaper down. So uh, I'm going to select the wallpaper name of whack whack DC, and then it's on the share, and it's called background.jpg. Now this will work. Um, if I deploy this to my nurse users, uh, I should be able to see this take effect absolutely right away. Click OK here. And at first, we should see nurse one's now logged on, and hopefully, we get the aha, the desktop background. Okay, great. So that's exactly what we would expect. But now, don't forget that desktop background is over there on the server. Now, if we go offline, what are we going to do? Well, let's take a look and see what happens if we go offline. I'm going to do something that's a kind of a VMware trick, and it's the equivalent of unclipping the network cables in the back. And I know this is a little bit of out of frame on the camera, but I'm going to right click and select disconnect, and uh, hopefully XP will react. There we go. XP is now reacted. Let's see what happens if we log off and log back on as the nurse. We can see we get the graphic. It's bigger, it's weirder, and then suddenly, boop, it goes away. <laughs> so that's totally weird behavior, and we don't want that behavior for our user. So what we need to do is specify to put that file locally on our workstation, and then always have our workstation point to that thing locally. All right, so that's the goal. So I want to use the power of the new group policy preference extensions to push this file, uh, background.jpg, someplace locally on the hard drive, and then always have, the availabil uh, always have the ability for the client to get to it. So let me go ahead and start by reconnecting the network cables here. So that way XP is happy again. And I'll log off of here. I love the fact that we get that weird behavior. That's always fun. So what we're going to do now is in the same group policy object, uh, I'm going to use um, the new group policy preferences. And under uh, Windows Settings, Files, I'm going to select to do a new file and what I'm going to do is select my source file which is whack whack dc whack um, share background.jpg and I'm going to push this thing to c column backslash background.jpg and I'm just using c column backslash to make it easy on myself because I'm lazy this morning uh, so we'll leave it for now and now that we've copied that desktop background down don't forget, we now have to change where the uh, desktop wallpaper is pointing to. So instead of pointing it to the share point, we're going to select C colon backslash background, and we're done. So if all goes well, the very next time I log on, two things should happen. It should copy the file first, and then use the desktop wallpaper that we've copied second. So let's see if it actually works, uh, and then we'll go offline and see if it stays working. So I'm logging on as nurse one get that weird behavior for a second and then hopefully it'll clear off up because it's back on the server sounds good just for good measure let's go ahead and log off here and log back on make sure it's still working sure enough okay let's clip the network cables really quick we'll click disconnect here now what we saw is when we had a disconnected network cable, if we logged off and logged back on, we didn't see the graphic at all, right? It showed up for a second and then it completely went away. But now that theoretically I've copied the file, 
let's take a look. If I log on as Nurse 1, it should be looking for it locally now. And do we have here? We do have good behavior. Let's check it out. If we go to start, run, cmd, and we take a look, there it is. Background.jpg was copied from the server locally, and now every single time, wherever the nurse logs on to, even though the network is disconnected here, even though the network is disconnected, we're guaranteed to have a copy with us offline wherever we go. So that's it. So now you're able to use the group policy preferences to copy that file locally, and tell the rest of the group policy engine to leverage that file. So we've copied the file locally, and now wherever we go, it'll copy that file the first time, and if we ever go offline, we'll still have that file available. So I hope you found that useful, and if you have any uh, ideas for future demonstrations, uh, go ahead and shoot me an email and let me know. And also, let me know what you thought of this. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.